And the goals, there was just one in the first half, but it really opened up in the second half. It was crazy in that sense because it looked Brisbane in the first half, they got this reward, they looked in total control. Yeah, they did. And, you know, as you said, they deserved this goal. Um, they, they had one or two chances throughout that first half where probably they should have hit the back of the net. Um, you know, it was a tough night for the Wanderers. Then we had that penalty opportunity. When Brendan Sandler came on, he ruffled their feathers. He caused a lot of problems yeah. um, in between those two centre-backs, a few forward runs. And, yeah, Andre who just finishes this one off so well. Cosy, why did it open up so much in the second half? Well, I think certainly the inclusion of Sanilov for the Wanderers, he actually makes forward runs with goal goals. We're a little bit uh, fortunate here, Romeo Castellan, to interrupt my dialogue there. But yeah. look, he gets away from Jade North, shakes Stefanino. I don't know, I don't know what's happened there. He's had a heavy touch. He's committed Daniel Bowles. It's like the old slow ball, you know, and he's dived in for the short one. It looks like he was on Cactus Street on Origin night. Well, anyway, carry on. <laughs> oh, you've been up there. Have you? Yeah. Um, but this is a great ball in from. Um, Andre, uh, sorry, Corona, but the thing here, look at Scott Jamison, how lazily he shuts that ball down, and that had to be blocked from going in. And Brendan Hamill, um, I think, have talked about uh, players not being completely match fit um, at the beginning of the game. He's not battle-hardened, Hamill, and he should have adjusted there to stop that ball being played in, and he also should have adjusted a lot quicker when Corona knocked that ball around the back. For